Uh, hi everyone, so welcome. In this video, what I'm going to do is show you if you're teaching online, how to have a break and not end the Zoom, uh, but to have a nice screen come up with a timer. And so I like to do this when you're giving students a break or if you're saying, come up with something in five minutes, uh, work with a friend and come back with this, something like that. Anyways, just a nice transition and um, a nice way to show them on the screen. So what I'm gonna do is show you exactly how that works uh, and what I have to do, show you my desktop while that happens. So you'll see my desktop now. And so I have Zoom up here now, uh, but you actually have to use two programs. So instead of just using Zoom, uh, there's also another program called ManyCam, and I'll bring that up. Uh, ManyCam is a Canadian company. Um, you can download it on their website, and you can see it here, and you can see me in it. Uh, and so down at the bottom, you can have some presets. I'm going to just zoom in right into ManyCam that you can see it. I'll come out there, and then let's take a look at ManyCam itself. Uh, so in ManyCam, um, it comes with some presets. Now, I have a green screen behind me. This is a green screen. I'll show you how. See? It's a green screen. Uh, you can see it down here. If I just go to my green screen here, that's, that's it by itself. But ManyCam has lots of presets. So this is my standard teaching uh, background. Uh, it could be this as well, okay, if I'm doing something else. Uh, and ManyCam lets you switch in and out of presets. And this is what you would call a virtual camera. And so once you have ManyCam set up, you can actually integrate this into Zoom. Uh, so inside ManyCam, I've set up my own preset. And there's my timer. So all you do is you go down to the bottom here. You press the plus, and then you're going to start setting these up on the side. Okay, so you, you can do is you can do go put in plus, you can put in some images. And so my preset right here uh, that we're looking at, um, I put in a couple, you know, school school themed pictures, a bitmoji of myself, and, and you can actually move this around. Okay, and on the side of Minicam, there's time. Uh, from time to time, I give maybe a five-minute break for get people to just stretch, okay, if I'm doing a very long Zoom. And so did you see that? I went in and I was able to change the time. And so uh, during my actual break, um, then I start to say, okay, everyone, um, so I'll be in this here, right? So they can't see the timer yet, and they don't see the box and everything that you see right now. They don't see that. Um, and so they see you can, I can drag myself, I can move myself around here. Uh, it's very virtual. Uh, ManyCam, just like an aside, uh, ManyCam is very good. Like let's, let's say I want to talk about rain uh, because I teach a second language, right? I might talk about the rain. Well, I could say you need rain boots, right? Or les but, okay? <laughs> uh, I can do lots of things in ManyCam and move it around and be interactive. Um, but let's go back to what I'm talking about, the timer. So they see this. I say, okay, everyone, we're going to take a five-minute break. And so let's transition to that now. And then I will go to the timer here, and I will click play. It will automatically count down. And as it counts down, right, I'm just, I just mute my microphone. I can do that now and they see that in Zoom. But now I'm going to show you how to put that in Zoom. So you've got many cams set up, you've got a preset set up and, and play around with it because all you've got to do is just say, I want a timer, go, go to the side there. Um, so here you can see my desktop again. Uh, so my desktop is, so we've got Zoom here, right? Got the zoom going on and I've got many cam on the side. Usually a nice big uh, computer is best for this, of course, because on a, on a laptop, it gets quite busy. So that's going down, but now let's show you what it looks like in zoom. So how do we go ahead and actually get this going in zoom? Well, I'll show you my desktop again. And so in zoom, I will go into the preferences and here I am in preferences and I will go to the video. 
And in video, instead of my actual camera, I'm going to allow the Medicam virtual camera. And there you go. You'll see that it is now showing the countdown. Make sure you don't mirror your video. If you mirror your video, people won't be able to read the numbers, right? Um, and it's it's great. Like the, I, I actually do this too. I go into Medicam just before, let's say it's counting down to the last 10 seconds that I kind of, I kind of do a little dance here. I, I make sure that he dances around uh, and then we start. And then what I'll do is go right back to me and say, hey, welcome back. Okay, do you want it more of a more realistic way? Okay, let's do this. All right, let's have five seconds left on the clock, All right? And so I turn to this, we're getting ready. And then I transition. Okay, everyone, welcome back to class. Um, I teach uh, different languages. So when I do teach languages, of course, I can even put in here on my screen. And I can click in here on text here. And I can say, you know, if it's in English, I can say, see you soon. Or if it's in French, I can say, on se voit bientôt or a tout à l'heure, whatever you want to say. Okay, so that gives an idea of how you can set up. You need two things. You need to have your Zoom going. Okay, you need to have many cam and then you put them together and I find it to be very powerful. Uh, very powerful, so it's here it is here, All right? If you can see the zoom, zoom in here. Uh, I find it to be very powerful uh, together. So you can see all on here, you do a preset. So just recapping here, you go back down here, you press the plus, okay? Press the plus. You, you put in a blank image, you can put in whatever color you want, you can type in, but just make sure you click on the, the time over here. You put in a timer. See, that if, I, if I click it off, it's not there. You put in the timer and you customize whatever you want. You actually can have a timer for counting up too. If someone's giving an oral presentation in your class and you say, you've got two minutes. Now it might make them a little nervous, <laughs> uh, but sometimes we need it. And not, don't just don't make it full screen. Um, and so I'm just going to come out of there now and I'm going to bring it back to my, my normal, my normal, this is my normal camera. And so I really only switch my virtual camera uh, when I go to break because I, I don't use many cam all the time. Uh, and it, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. So again, here, it would be in the settings and you would, you'd switch your camera under video. And so I hope this helps, uh, you know, comment, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, this is, you know, this is a, a video for teachers. It's uh, how, how do you put in a nice timer for break? How do you uh, use it for transitions? Uh, how do you use Minicam? Uh, so uh, you can let me know uh, what you think. Thanks everyone.